Hey, welcome back to NATO Plays. I'm playing Angel Attack, and Mike, uh, I want to try a little exercise. Should we down for that? God damn it, Max. Can we just play the game? No, we need to do something interesting for the folks. Fine. fine. All right. So it's not going to be. It's actually. It's a. It's a fun game. You'll enjoy it. It's a. Uh, it's a game I like to do. Yeah. When I'm just kind of trying, trying to like kind of kill time, frankly. Uh, but um, what's going let's, on here? Just are you shooting like fish in a pond? Yeah, I'm shooting uh, angels in the head. <laughs> it's the whole thing. Anyway, so it's this game I like to do where um, we talk, we say things about ourselves that no, neither of us have ever heard before. So it's kind of like a learning learning game in that sense. Max, I've known you for like ten years. Exactly. So this should be very interesting, right? Okay. Great. Right. All right. So I'll start. Uh. Okay. Um. And it could be anything. It could be a fun anecdote. It could be a fact about yourself. It could be a story. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, this one. Uh, I am deathly afraid of log rides. Log rides? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, like, uh, when, when did you realize this? Like, on a Splash Mountain? and. Oh, yeah, no. I, 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 it's, not, it's, not that the, it's not the actual act. It's just I don't, I've never feel safe in those coffins that they <laughs> have you ride down. Because it's just like a hollowed out piece of... It's, it's a log. It's a log with a, with a stool and then you don't get anything and then they plummet you down, you know... Yeah, there's, I was like, there's no guarantee I'm not going to fall out of this bitch. Yeah. Especially, yeah, no, I, I know, uh, like, it's like, you might have something to hold on to but it's like, I'm going to get wet. What if I get slippery, you know? Yeah. I'm hysterical and I'm wet. But, uh, yeah, dude, like, I, there's a picture that, uh, fucking fucking Disneyland, uh, Splash Mountain, and I'm like eight years old, and they have me sit in the front, and it's uh, just my dad behind me. And I then, hope you could find that picture so we can show and, it. And anyway. then, not, no, it's not gonna fucking happen, Matt. Ah, <laughs> oh, that'd be great. I don't know, I could probably ask my sister. You should. Yeah, you know what, I'll ask my sister, and then when we put this up, you, you can, you guys can see the photo. So, uh, Etienne, insert photo now. Uh, if you don't find it, insert a photo of, um, Vin Diesel. Anyway, uh, so yeah, there's this photo, and my face is just like, ah. Actually, like, you know what? If, even if he finds the photo, insert of, in, even if he finds the picture, insert that photo of Vin Diesel anyway. Best of both worlds. Terrible. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel you on log rides, man. Um, anyway, your turn. I just, I think you get soaked at the end. Like, where's the reward? Yeah, exactly. Like, unless it's a hot day. Yeah. I also love how, like, people, like, that whole picture market has gone down the tubes because of phones the advent of people taking pictures on their phones yeah which i think is really tacky and shit but uh yeah it's extremely tacky but and yeah i, I do kind of feel bad but it, they did it to themselves by charging you like 20 bucks a pop for a fucking picture like dude yeah. i just want the memory and like your hand this picture didn't take anything to make like you don't have like a a fucking dark room back there where you're developing photos like i'm just gonna start skipping this. like come on <laughs> like yeah, what was going on there? Were you taking, like, a train or something? Like, across the continent? Yeah, but... That's, like, so inefficient. Why wouldn't she just fly? <laughs> she did fly, and then she took a train to this other thing. I don't know. But none okay. of it made any sense, so I'm not even... So gonna... now I have to think about something to myself that I'm willing to share that you don't know. Yeah. Oh, God damn it, Max. I'm gonna Come take on. a nap. <laughs> <laughs> don't take a nap. We're working, God damn it. Uh... It's work now, people. <laughs> used to get high and just watch video games being played. And it was cool, you know? No, now you're sober and having to do work. God, I don't want to die sober. Well, that's true. I, I definitely don't want to die sober. That's not a factoid. It's not something I... That's, I definitely knew that about you. Like, no, like, I really have to be, like... Like, not like, oh, I'm gonna die. I need to get high. But, like, I'm just hoping that when I die... I'm not cognizant because, enough to realize it. Yeah, I'm just because I'm like, you know, totally zoided out. What's that invisible thing running at you? That was a person. Okay. Are, are you really using too much force on these, on these, these there's benches? A, there's a good reason for this. Okay, 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 you're collecting your sonic Anyway, coins. it's your turn, so you go. <sighs> I can't think of anything. Yeah, I can't think of anything, man. It could be anything. It could be an anecdote. It could be a story that I've never heard. It can be whatever. Don't think too much about it. It's too late. I've gone past <laughs> the deep end. I have to talk about myself. It's like a fucking job interview, Max. It's, 
It kind of is a job. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sweet. That actually left. There we go. It's just increasing magic. Anyway, so... What's interesting is I've only... Ha um, like, I've worked for the past, like, seven years of my life. Yeah. Or, like, actually, uh, nine... No, wait, I don't know how old am I. Like, eight. Like, seven or eight years, right? And I've only had, like, one job interview. Really? Uh, or maybe two. But, like, for the jobs that I've actually gotten, I've only had one. Like, the other one was, um... Well, did like, you interview at your current job? Yeah, and that's it. And, like, my last... The jobs before I've worked at are just, like, word of mouth or, like, I know people. And, like, okay, come in. Tomorrow's your, fir your first day. And it's, like, it was... There was just no... Like, having to sell myself is not something I've had to do a lot. Which is probably why, uh... But it's like, hey, tell us an interesting... You're like, tell me an interesting factoid about you. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I live, maybe. I, I, I eat, I breathe, I shit, fuck, you know, I drink. You know, just basic human stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're hired, for sure. <laughs> you know, it's funny, because I've, like, had that question, and I, I, I try to give good um, answers to those things, you know? Because you want to be, you know, insightful and interesting and everything. And I don't think I've ever had a super successful job interview. I've had one. And then I yeah, I'm just job. not good about selling myself or talking. It's like, fill out uh, this questionnaire or, or, like, those personality things or, like, you know, like on a social media site or whatever where it's like, oh, describe yourself. I'm like, I'm just fucking watching the wheels go round and round, man. You know? I'm like, I'm chucking, I'm here to fuck kind of shit. <laughs> You'd be great at AA. Well, you know, okay, I'm gonna count that one. Actually, you know what's funny is one time, um, I, when I went to Australia, they were doing this thing, we were all introducing ourselves, and so, uh, we're traveling by, a uh, coach. Um, not, not, but, like, an actual coach, so basically a glorified bus, right? And, um, it was pretty cool, because we had, like, room for all of our bags, and, uh, there's plenty of space, real comfortable, and sometimes we're, we're in that fucking thing for hours at a time, traveling the roads of, uh, Australia from like city to city and um, they decided to have like a let's get to know everybody thing and so all the kids go up and they're talking about you know I'm like 17 and kids are around that age and they're talking about you know what schools they want to go to what they do for fun like where do they go to school and uh, now and you know a bit about their family and all that and so it's my turn to go up and so I'm like hello everyone I'm Michael and I'm an addict. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> it got a lot of you're laughs. You're not serious. I, not, being, I am serious. And people laugh their heads off. Because everyone, at, at that time, before I even uh, introduced myself, everyone just uh, instantly thought, I was like, hey, Mike, tell a joke. You know, you're a joker. You know, we heard you're funny. Uh, like, laugh, you, fucker. We, we've only known you for two days, but, like, already, you know, you're the class clown. I'm like, great. <laughs> pressure oh yeah and no, so like the moment i sit down like too. one of the count uh, one of the uh chaperones was like hey mike tell a joke i'm like i'll tell a joke but it won't be in the formal joke format like everything i say is just gonna be hilarious uh, i was like i'm mike and i'm an addict uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's horrific it was hilarious especially since you were what 16 at this time 17 17 jesus yeah a little i know but um yeah people got a good roar at that and then I, I told another story about, like, um, how one time my sister was, uh, telling us how tall she was. I was like, hey guys, I, I met, I wait, I measured myself, and I'm actually, uh, I'm 5'12". Oh no, 4'12", 4'12". I was like, 4'12", don't you mean 5 feet, Rhea? Like, four she's like, no, 4'12". I was like, <laughs> me and my dad were like... Do you, do you hear what you're saying right now? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Rhea, that's fucking retarded. <laughs> it's <laughs> five feet. And then the, the next day she's like, oh, actually, guys, I'm taller than I thought I was. Uh, you know, I was telling you yesterday, I'm like, yeah, we remember. Because I'm actually, um, I'm 5'1". I'm like, oh, yeah, don't you mean 5'13"? Or 4'13"? Oh, God. 4'13"? 4'13"? <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of laughs. Yeah, and I'm 4'26". Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just 4'26". Yeah, just like... <laughs> No, no, screw the traditions. Oh, God, that's so... It was hilarious, because she really, for a second there, believed it was the proper way. It was 412. And, of course, she'll deny it. And if she ever listened to this, she'll be like, you guys are full of shit. 
Oh, Jesus, that attack is badass. Yeah. So there, Max, is, does that meet... meet yeah, that, that, meets, that meets the criteria. Okay, I'm, I'm satisfied. You. Okay, uh, my turn. Oh. Exactly. Are we going to keep doing this? No, I got it. Well, because this is where I get my uh, my weapons and our ammo and shit. Not ammo, but my weapons and uh, uh, skills. Oh, so that's what this is. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, let's... Uh, I thought it said rodents treasures. I'm like, what is that? Like things that mice find? No, god damn it. Uh, let's break do... dance. Yeah, let's do that. stiletto. Let's do one of these. Air dodge. Let's do. Let's try that one. Boom! Oh, you knocked the shit out of him. <laughs> Alright, uh, here's another one for me. Um, okay, uh, did I ever tell you about the time I almost got suspended back in, uh, elementary school? No, I can't imagine. Uh, yeah, I almost got suspended because I, um, I was so, uh, I was mad at these girls because they were picking on me. Right. Oh, big surprise I was picked in high school, or in middle school. <laughs> Maybe in high school, too. Uh, <laughs> oh, definitely in high school. I was there. <laughs> I did the picking. <laughs> uh, but, um... Yeah, uh, I was I was really mad at these girls and I didn't um, and this you know I couldn't hit them obviously, so well, right? Yeah, I mean not supposed to, bad mess. Um, but um, so the only thing I could think of to do was I um, I turned around because they were sitting near a tree. I turned around and I uh, pulled my pants down and I pissed on a tree in front of them. Nice. Yeah. Dicks out. Dicks out. Original. <laughs> Dicks out indeed. So um, of course they tell. Because who wouldn't fucking tell? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, the, the I was sitting in the office all day, and my mom had to come and pick me up early, and they wanted to suspend me, and because my mom, being the person that she is, she can get anybody out of anything and get any and get like anything out of anybody. She totally talks them down and says, "No, no, he's not going to be expelled. He's not going. He has nothing to do at home." So. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, now I have to get a fucking babysitter? <laughs> like, no, we're not doing that. So, he, yeah, they managed to talk me down, and I think she she made something up. I never heard the entire story from her perspective, and frankly, I don't think I want to bring that memory up for her, because it's, frankly, a little embarrassing. But, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, it, it, yeah, I, I didn't get, I didn't end up getting suspended, although I was definitely made fun of, mercilessly, for the next year and a half. Yeah, I mean, you whipped <laughs> your dick out and you peed on a tree in front of yeah. Those girls. Yeah. You know, I mean, at least you did that as a kid. You got it out of your system. Because if you do that now as an adult, I'm pretty sure you'd have to register as a sex offender. Pretty <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's that's pretty much grounds, isn't it? Now. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. I think even if there aren't any kids there. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely like that's correct. That's definitely grounds. There are children who saw your penis. <laughs> you your dick out. <laughs> I guess I was a little exhibitionist when I was a fucking young, young buck. Yeah, man, you need to you need to bring it back out, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that inner child in you, that weirdo. Yeah. No, trust me, that that guy that guy's out. All right. Uh, anyway, finish. that's my spiel. Back to you. Okay. Well, um, last one. I know we're winding down. There was this uh, time uh, I was uh, I think in second or third grade, where my dad gave me the best gift of all you could give to a kid that age: a Swiss Army knife. Oh, wow. It was a small one. It was like a little pocket knife. It didn't even have like, you know, action, you know, like an assist. Like you had to pull it out and everything. It had like a, your basic uh, toothpick and pliers and like a little nail file and like a bottle opener. And he gave it to me. And of course, you know, I fucking take it to school because I want to show my friends. Yeah, because, you know, everybody yeah. has that dumbass fucking thing. Right. And then, of course, my fucking friends tell on me. And like... You know, they think, oh my god, this, this kid's gonna stab people. I'm like, yeah, I'm really gonna kill, stab. Like, the knife was smaller than, like, my pinky finger is now. It was just a tiny little blade. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. Anyway, so, um, they held me in the office, and I think I was, like, they had to send me home. They didn't like, because you technically brought a weapon to school. Yeah, I brought a weapon to school. And, um, if that wasn't enough, I did the same thing the very next day. He <laughs> did the same thing? I brought the knife again. Did you get caught that time, though? Yes. Why did you bring it back? I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. 
Uh, maybe I thought I could be slick about it, but um, yeah, eventually they, my dad took the knife away, and uh, didn't happen again. And uh, <laughs> I just remember my dad for years just be like, the first time I understand. Why Dude, the what time? compelled you to do that again? I thought I could be slick. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, that, that taught me a painful lesson um, about uh, trust. <laughs> and, and like, you know, just one of the first times, like, not everybody you go to school with is your friend. <laughs> not everyone who's your friend or you think is your friend can you trust. And, you know, I don't know, if you're going to bring something like that to school, oh, maybe, don't, God. maybe don't wave it about. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I can't believe that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna beat this guy and then we'll we'll finish off. Uh, but, but um, yeah, it was um. That's mortifying. A poor uh, poor choice on my uh, my part. Um. But yeah, you know. Yeah, I don't think I ever saw that knife again. <laughs> by the way. There we go. There we go. Which sucked too, because it wasn't just my dad handing it up. It had like a nice little case and like a. A uh, uh, like paperwork of authenticity, you know. Oh, was it genuine Swiss? Yeah, Swiss Army knife. Yeah. But again, like tiny, like utility. Duh! Oh. There we go. Okay. Let's check this shit. Jesus! It's like you've played this game before. No, but this, this is the best part. This is the climax. So, hair goes in. She's totally new right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh my god. There you go. Right. I wonder if this is what tricks me when they're like, like, my hair game is on point. It's lethal. <laughs> it's, it's disgustingly lethal. Alright, next time on, uh... NATO plays. We'll uh, have some more weird shit that we don't know about each other being brought to light. Really? All right. Yeah. Peace out.